Did you know that 72% of consumers would rather learn about a product or service by way of video? Videos are by far one of the most effective marketing tools out there. Why? Because they tell a story and everyone loves a good story. Today, I'm going to share with you all my favorite ways to help you use more video on your socials. My name is Steph Parisi, and I love helping network marketers, both new and experienced, further grow their influence and their profits using social media strategies that actually work. And I'm also the leader of the Parisi pack. If you find value in this video, hit that like button for me, leave me a comment, ask me a question. What do you need help with when it comes to your social media? Let's dive into today's topic. How can you use more video on your social media? What makes a video really that powerful? Human beings, we're visual. Videos are more engaging, more memorable, and more popular than any other content out there. It's a quick, real snapshot of your life. It's no surprise all the predictions that the experts are making when it comes to how much video is taking over Facebook and Instagram and all the different platforms that we're using. Take for instance, this video of my son, Jake here. This one cracks me up and it was so funny because we had just gotten home from Target and I really wanted to get a video of him wearing his new shoes, but he wouldn't put down the box of tampons. So record them with the box of tampons. Nothing like holding a box of tampons while testing out your first pair of shoes. It was a hit on social media and I'm not surprised. It's funny, it's real life, and it brings the viewer into the story, unlike a picture. And people remember it. In fact, 95% of viewers retain a message when they watch it in video compared to only 10% when they read it in text. Craziness, that is a huge difference. I use video every week on my social media platforms about both my personal life and business because let's be honest, it all goes together. People do business with people they know, like, and trust. So don't mistake your personal content for being irrelevant. So let's get into ideas of how you can do this yourself. First up, pre-recorded video. Just like the video I did of Jake, here's another one of my husband playing with our other son, Xavier, when he was a baby. This one was another huge hit. He's doing a Star Wars impersonation and it was just funny. Keep that in mind. Funny videos are almost always a huge hit. Let me help you think outside the box too though. Aside from just putting up a pre-recorded video, what can you do? On Facebook, we know that 85% of videos are watched without sound and 33% of viewers stop watching a video after 30 seconds. 45% drop off at the one minute mark. And when your video is longer than two minutes, 60% of people have pieced out. So what's a great way to combat all those kind of negative stats? Well, my favorite is using silent videos with time text. It's perfect. I don't know about you, but I'm one of those stats. I don't usually have my phone volume turned on when I'm scrolling through social media. And with this option, you don't need sound. You just record and then you add the time text overlaid onto it. The key though, is that you have continual text that keeps popping up because this is gonna keep your viewer intrigued. Aside from just using a video with one text overlaid at the bottom, when you have time text, it'll keep the viewer engaged for longer. So problem solved. If you're not sure how to make one, check out this tutorial I made, how to use time text. You can use this technique in your stories, but then I also really recommend saving your story and then reposting it in your newsfeed because it's gonna do really well in both places. And even though so many people prefer stories to newsfeed today, there are still different people that aren't watching or viewing your stories. So include it in your newsfeed posts, put it in both places, and you'll get great engagement, I believe, in both places. Test it out and let me know. Social media posts with videos get 48% more views. But now you might be like, Steph, I don't wanna be in my video. So what should I do then? And this is a common problem that I run into that people are like, yep, don't wanna be in the video, not making videos. And now you have no excuse. That's where these next hacks really come into play. Enter in the screen record function on your phone. I use this feature 
all the time. As you can see here, this is a really simple video I made in seconds. I simply pulled up on my Google Drive, on my phone, a lead magnet that I have. It's called 10 Tips on How to Effectively Launch a New Product, and it's geared towards network marketers, the people that I'm coaching. And all I did was screen record me swiping through the lead magnet. That's it. And then I just edited it just a little bit, muted it, cropped it, and then posted it on my social media. Before I put it up, I added the GIF in because that made it a little bit more stand out. So in just seconds, I created a really fun video for social media that performed so much better than just adding or putting up a picture. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Don't overcomplicate video. What else can you do if you don't wanna be in it? There are so many really cool apps that are free that you have on your phone that you can use. One of my favorites on my iPhone is called the Clips app. I use it all the time to piece together just a few photos that I've taken. It's great to make eye-catching marketing videos of your products. Check out this tutorial, how to make awesome videos on your phone in less than five minutes. And I show you step-by-step -step how I'm using this app to make really cool short product videos that I then use on my social media accounts. Another app that I love to use is called Mojo. And I actually created a four week series here on YouTube using the app. And in it, I show you how to use the app to make videos that do, you know, the cool like typewriting effect where different words pop up on the screen or to make a product slideshow. This one is great if you sell clothing. Do not underestimate like, a catchy video that goes through different products that you could have on. So check out this series of videos on the app Mojo to learn more. My next brilliant hack for getting more videos on your social is to animate a photo. What do I mean? So on Facebook, when you open up your stories, one of the features is animation. And the cool thing about this is, I don't know about you, there have been so many times where in the moment, I might get a picture of my boys or a picture of something. And after the fact, I'm like, yeah, I wish I had captured that on video. Well, the cool thing is, is with the animation feature, you can take a, any picture and then make it more video-like. Use it to zoom in, bounce, pan your photos. If you're not sure what I mean, check out this video. Cool animation tricks for selling on social. So whether you sell jewelry, clothing, workout gear, supplements, books, before and after photos, you name it. In it, I give you different ways that you can use the animation feature to really take a static picture and make it stand out. And then you can post that into your stories, but you can also save it and then post it to your newsfeed as well. Another very simple hack for taking a picture and making it a video on social media is to add a GIF to it. It's one of my favorite things to do when I really just wanna add a little pizzazz and draw someone's eye to a specific area of a photo. And the cool thing is, is when you do that, it's gonna now register on Facebook as a video. So don't overdo this, but every now and then, add in a GIF to a picture. It's super simple. You're gonna go to create a Facebook post, you click that edit button on the photo, and you then type in and search for a certain GIF that you want, pop it on there, and boom. Now you have a video instead of a picture. And then friend, don't forget about the most powerful video tool that you have on social media, and that is to go live. I have an entire video on this, 21 secrets on how to get more sales using Facebook Live. I truly built my business going live on Facebook and in that video, I share all my tips, hacks, secrets on how to get more viewers, get more engagement and ultimately get more sales with your Facebook Live videos. Live on social media is like reality TV. People can't get enough of it. Now, not everyone is watching live as we've already covered, there's all these other great ideas. So don't forget them as well. Pre-recorded video, silent videos with time text, screen record, use apps like Clips or Mojo, animate your photos, add a GIF to an image and go live. And there you have it. A bunch of different ideas how you can fill your social media with more video and ultimately then make more sales in your business.
Now it's your turn. Let me know in the comments which one you're gonna use today. And if you found this video helpful, hit that like button, share it with your friends or your team. And I'll be back next week with some ideas of the actual content that you can include in your videos on social media. Till then.